state's capital today, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where we're visiting Appalachian Brewing Company. They'll be joining us for the third annual brew fest at Mount Hope. We're going to go inside and see what they're doing today. We're in the inner workings of Appalachian Brewing Company. We're about to meet with Jay, one of their brewers. We'll see what he has to say. So, you've been open for 14 years. How long have you been brewing here? I've been brewing here for four years now. And what do you love about beer and brewing overall? Uh, probably the dichotomy of it. It's definitely a mix of science and art at the same time. Underneath the microscope two days a week and then making up new recipes two days a week. And your hands on your mind, sir. Yeah. Right now we're in the grain room. All these uh, bags in this room are all the specialty malt space. And this is what gives all the beer its malt character, its flavor, its aroma, um, and also all of its color. The only other main Additive is hops, other than that, all the flavor comes out of these barrels. All that crushed grain goes into the grist case, which is right here. Uh, the grist case then is emptied into the mash tun. It's infused with hot water and it rests for 20 minutes. Afterwards, what we'll do is we'll start pumping the liquid from underneath the screens in the mash tun right back on top. It creates a filter bed of nice colored sugar water. And after it's nice and clear, we'll pump it down in the kettle, which is the last vessel. And this is where we boil for an hour and a half. We'll also add our hop additions. Uh, once we boil it, it's pasteurized, it has hops in it, and it's also ready to ferment it. Right now we're in the cellar, we have 800 barrel fermenters. Uh, basically it's a triple brew for us. This is where we go ahead, we add yeast to that sugar water and it ferments out. It's alcohol fermentation, and uh, basically that's how we start making the beer. After it's done fermenting, it ages for up to two months, and it's ready for that. So, after it's done fermenting, it goes into one of these two vessels. These are bright tanks. At this point, the beer is ready for package. And right now, Nate is our assistant brewer. is kegging off the beer. Uh, it's a forehead filler. Does about 25 takes an hour. So you'll be attending the Brewfest at Mount Hope on May 14th. How do Brewfests help your industry and the beer in general? Most people try our beer who normally wouldn't, um, especially at $30 a case. Most people aren't really willing to throw that down unless they've tried it first. Right. And so it gives people uh, opportunities to taste everything we can offer. Okay. Get a free sample and learn where your brewery is. Exactly. Great. So what do you say makes your beer here at Appalachian unique and stand out from other beers? Uh, we are a session brewery. Uh, we make uh, great session ales and lagers. We have 13 flagships as well as a monthly seasonal and then things batches thrown in uh, from our Campbell and Gettysburg locations. Uh, all in all, we make tasty, drinkable beer that you can drink any time of the year. Great. All right, right now, this is the Mountain Lager. This is one of our flagships available in draft bottles year-round. It's a Dortmunder-style lager. It's nice, light, and crisp. A little sweet on the tail end. You said this is the Mountain Lager we're trying? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Good Be sure to visit your booth at the Brewfest at Mount Hope on the grounds of the Mount Hope State Winery on May 14th. Visit parentfair.com for more details.